beautiful mavens. We are on day 18 of our Magic Gratitude Challenge, which means we are now doing Magic Practice number 17, The Magic Check. It starts with a quote by William S. Barrett, who was a writer and poet born in 1914 and lived until 1997. The quote goes like this. In the magical universe, there are no coincidences and there are no accidents. Nothing happens unless someone wills it to happen. When you direct gratitude's magical power toward any negative condition, a new condition is created, eliminating the old condition. That means that when you get yourself to the place where you feel grateful for money, more than you feel a lack of money, a new condition is created, eliminating the lack of money and magically replacing it with more money. All bad feelings about money push away from you and reduce the amount of money in your life. And every time you feel bad about money, you reduce it a little more. If you have feelings about money, like envy, disappointment, worry, or fear, you cannot receive more. The law of attraction says that life attracts life. So if you feel disappointed that you don't have enough money, you will receive more disappointing circumstances of not having enough money. If you are worried about money, you will receive more worrying situations about money. If you feel fearful about the state of your money, then you must receive more situations that will continue to make you fearful about money. However difficult it may be, you have to ignore your current situation and any lack of money you may currently be experiencing and gratitude is the guaranteed way for you to do that. You can't be grateful for money and disappointed about money at the same time. You can't be thinking grateful thoughts about money and have worried thoughts about money at the same time. Nor can you be grateful for money and have fearful thoughts about money at the same time. Nor can you be grateful for money and have fearful thoughts about money at the same time. When you're grateful for money, not only do you stop the negative thoughts and feelings that push money away from you, you're doing the very thing that brings more money to you. You have already practiced gratitude for the money you have received and continue to receive. So before you use gratitude's magical power for the money you want, you need to understand the various ways and avenues that money or riches could come into your life. Because if you're not grateful each time your riches or money increase, you will stop the abundance from flowing to you. Money can come to you through receiving an unexpected check, an increase in salary, a luxury win, a tax refund, or an unanticipated gift of money from someone. Your money can also increase when somebody else spontaneously picks up the tab for coffee, lunch, or dinner. When you're about to purchase an item and you discover it has been discounted. When there's a money back offer on a purchase or when someone gives you a gift of something you needed to buy. The end result of every one of these circumstances is that you have more money. So whenever a situation arises, ask yourself, does this circumstance mean that I have more money? Because if it does, you need to be very grateful for the money you're receiving through that circumstance. If you tell a friend you're about to buy an item and the friend offers to lend or give you the very item because they don't use it, or if you're planning to travel and you hear about a discount special that you end up taking, or if your lending institution lowers their interest rate or a service provider offers you a far better package, your money magically increased through the saving of money. Are you getting the idea of the unlimited situation where you can receive money? Most likely you've experienced some of these situations in the past and whether you realized it or not at the time, they occurred because you attracted them. But when gratitude is your way of mind, you attract magical situations all the time. Many people call it good luck, but it's not luck at all. It's universal law. Any circumstance that results in you having more money or receiving something that costs money is a result of your gratitude. You'll feel great joy in knowing that you did it 
And when you combine your joy with your gratitude, you have a real magnetic force that will keep attracting more and more abundance. When I arrived in the United States several years ago, I arrived with two suitcases. I worked in a bare bones apartment with my computer on my lap. I didn't have a car and so I mostly walked everywhere, but I was grateful for everything. I was grateful to be in the United States. I was grateful for the work I was doing. I was grateful for the bare bones apartment with its four plates, four knives, four forks, and four spoons. I was grateful that I could walk to most places, and I was grateful that there was a taxi stand right across the street. Then something incredible happened. A person I knew decided to gift to me a driver and a car for a few months. Other than my computer, I was living with the most basic material things to survive. And then suddenly I had my own personal driver and car. I was grateful, so I was given more. And that is exactly how the magic happens with gratitude. Today is the magical practice for the money you want to receive has brought a stunning result to many people. At the end of this practice, you will find a blank magic check from the gratitude back of the universe. And you are going to write out the magic check to yourself. So in the amount of money you want to receive, along with your name and today's date. Choose the specific amount of money for one thing you really want, because you will be able to feel more gratitude for the money when you know what you're going to spend the money on. The money is a need to what you want, but it's not the end result. So if you just thought about money per se, you wouldn't be able to feel as much gratitude. When you imagine getting the things you really want, or doing the things you really want to do, you will feel far more gratitude than if you were just being grateful for money. You can photocopy or scan the magic check from the book. You can also get an abundance of black magic checks from www.thesecret.tv forward slash the dash secret dash check. Yeah, as well as the check looks like. So you can download the secret check PDF. Let me show you what that looks like. So you download secret check PDF. It's slightly different. And the one in the book here is one of my magic checks. As I receive it, I put thank you, thank you, thank you at the bottom of the check. I've written my magic checks out. And as I receive it, add a little a goodie that says, thank you, thank you, thank you. Here's the magic check in the book. And that one used to be on the website. So that's the magic checks so I've been using. If you have a look scan. Uh, that was the first check I received. It was money that I needed for my month end. And this was the next one I received. This was for a course that I really, really wanted to do with Tammy Collin called Love Your Brand. And that is how I got all my branding. Isn't that amazing? When I put on that little sticker saying, thank you, thank you, thank you at the bottom, that means I've already received it. This is the next one I have that I'm going for. 36,000 rand. I want to pay back someone who, who paid for a course for me. So yeah, I love doing this exercise. The check has changed slightly from the one that I've been using. So I'm going to start printing this one out from now on. And you just click on download the secret PDF, or you can copy and paste the image and you can add that image to a Word document so that you can put three up on one page when you're printing. Let's get back to the book. If you want to start with a smaller amount, if you want to start with a smaller amount on your first magic check and after you receive the smaller amount, you can keep if you want, you can start with a smaller amount on your first magic check. And after you receive the smaller amount, you can keep increasing the amounts on your next checks. The benefit of starting with a smaller amount is that when you magically receive it, you will know that you did it. 
and you will know absolutely that the magic of gratitude works and the gratitude and joy you feel will make bigger amount believable to you. Once you've filled in the details of the magic check, hold the check in your hand and think about the specific thing you want the money for. Get a picture in your mind and visualize yourself actually using the money to get the very thing that you want and put as much excitement and gratitude into it as you can. Maybe you want the money for a new pair of shoes, a computer, or a new bed. So picture yourself actually buying what you want in a store. If you would purchase what you want online, then picture yourself receiving the delivery so you feel excitement and gratitude. You might want the money to travel overseas or for your child's college education. So imagine buying your own plane ticket or opening a college bank account and feel as happy and grateful as if you've really received it. After you've completed these steps, take the magic check with you today or put it in a place where you will see it often. On at least two more occasions during the day today, on at least two more occasions during the day today, take the magic check in your hand, picture yourself actually using the money for what you wanted and feel and as on at least two more occasions during the day today, take the magic check in your hands. Picture yourself actually using the money for what you wanted and feel as grateful and excited as you can, as though you are already doing it. If you want, you can do it more times in the day. If you want, you can do it more times in the day. As with any other magical practice, you can't do it too often. At the end of today, either keep your magic check where you had it or put it in another prominent case where you will see it daily. You could put it on your bathroom mirror, your refrigerator, underneath your magic rock, in your car or wallet, or on the background of your computer. Anytime you see your magic check, feel as though you've received the money and be grateful that now you can have or do what you want. When you have received the money on your magic check, or if you received the item you wanted to spend the money on in another magical way, replace the check with a new amount for something else that you really want and continue with the magic practice. When you have received the money on your magic check, or if you receive the item you want to spend the money on in another magical way, replace the check with a new amount for something else that you really want and continue with the magic check practice as long as you want. Magic practice number 17, the magic check. Step one, count your blessing. Make a list of 10 blessings. Write why you're grateful. Reread your list and at the end of each blessing, say thank you, thank you, thank you, and feel as grateful for that blessing as you can. Step two, fill in your magic check with the amount of money you want to receive along with your name and today's date. Step three, hold your magic check in your hand and imagine purchasing the specific thing you want the money for. Feel as grateful. Hold your magic check in your hand. Sorry. Step three, hold your magic check in your hand and imagine purchasing the specific thing you want the money for. Feel as happy and grateful as you can that you have received it. Step four, take the magic check with you today or put it in a place where you will see it often. On at least two more occasions, take the check in your hand. Picture yourself using the money for what you want and feel as grateful as though you were really doing it. Step five, at the end of today, keep your magic check in a prominent place where you will see it daily. When you have received the money on your check, or if you receive the item you wanted to spend the money on, replace the check with a new amount for something else you want and repeat steps two to four. Step six, just before you go to sleep tonight, hold your magic rock in one hand and say the magic word, thank you for the best thing that happened during the day. Thanks for your time, ladies. Bye. Bye.